Hi, this is Rodrigo from Cisco Security Solutions team and today I will show you some methodologies that you can follow while troubleshooting problems related with your ICE backups and repositories. So let's begin. In the first section of the video, we will cover the basics related to this functionality we have in Identity Services Engine. A repository refers to a storage location where ICE can upload and download information depending on the flow or circumstance given. Repositories on ICE are going to be used mostly in process related to upgrade, patch installation, backup generation, retrieval of data to restore, and the delivery of information such as reports or multiple files of ICE. The repositories on ICE can be categorized in internal and external storage. The storage categorized internal are the disk, that is a portion of the hard disk of ICE where the repository is allocated, and CD-ROM. This kind of storage is not recommended as the consumption of resources of ICE will be propitiated and that will lead to performance problems. The repositories that we are going to focus in this video are external storage servers, which can be connected through multiple protocols like FTP, SFTP, TFTP, HTTP, HTTPS, and NFS. It is important to remark that while configuring an external repository server, you must review the compatibility matrix displayed below, as protocols like TFTP do not support any kind of operation related to backup restore. This is the first point that you must verify prior any troubleshooting. The configuration of repositories on ICE is possible to achieve through two ways, GUI and CLI. To configure a repository on GUI, we need to go to the menu Administration, System, Maintenance, Repository. In this menu, the list will display the repositories available in all the nodes. If you configure a repository in this section, the configuration pertaining to this storage will replicate to all the nodes of your implementation. Similarly, we can configure repositories in TCLI, but the difference is that the configuration done through CLI in terms of repositories or other operations like patch installation will not be replicated to other nodes. On ICE GUI, we can validate the configuration of our repository by selecting the button highlighted. However, a best method to review and troubleshoot the repositories on ICE is going to be CLI. The command show repository should provide the files contained on such storage server. In this case, we will troubleshoot and demonstrate FTP and SFTP servers, which are the most common scenarios. The way in which we are going to check the accessibility and review the flows is through CLI commands and packet captures. Review first the configuration of your repository in the CLI of the node with the command show running config and visualize the configuration of the repository. On the CLI of the node, we will check the accessibility of the repositories with the command show repository. In the CLI of the nodes from where we run the command, we can enable the following debugs displayed. We can take a packet capture while issuing the command, set up the capture in the node issuer, start the capture and from the CLI run the command. As we can see in this scenario, the FTP test is working fine while the SFTP server is failing. Stop the capture on the GUI and let's review. At this point, the CLI outputs are the ones that provide us more insight as per the information displayed. The SFTP connection was not achieved due to the lack of the public key that is needed for SFTP. We reviewed that this information is correct with the command show crypto keys and we confirm that there are no keys, so we need to input the command displayed on the CLI to make this work. Now that we have successfully configured repositories, let's focus on the backup generation for this scenario. 
We are going to back off the configuration of this server using the FTP server we configured. And as we can see, it's failing. As per the testing performed with the command show repository was successful, we know that there is no connectivity problem, so we can issue the following commands in the CLI to understand better the procedures that are happening internally on ICE. After reviewing these commands, we realized that the username for that FTP server didn't have great privileges within the server. Once we correct this, the configurational backup was successful. You have learned now the basics of troubleshoot repositories and backups on ICE. Thanks for the time you took to watch this video.